नमो नमः विद्या ददाति विनयम विनयात याति पात्रताम पात्रत्वात धनम आपनोति धनात धर्म ततः सुखम दिस अ वंडरफुल सुभाषितम व्हिच टेल्स अस हाउ वन कैन इवेंचुअली अटेन हैप्पीनेस एंड फुलफिलमेंट इटर्नल हैप्पीनेस एंड फुलफिलमेंट विद्या ददाति विनयम नॉलेज एंड एजुकेशन इंपार्ट्स विनयम और ह्यूमिलिटी विनयात याति पात्रताम फ्रॉम ह्यूमिलिटी कम्स वर्थिनेस पात्रत्वात धनम आपनोति सो विथ वर्थिनेस एंड विथ योर मेरिट यू कैन अर्न वेल्थ अक्यूमुलेट वेल्थ धनात धर्मम तत सुखम विथ योर वेल्थ यू कैन परफॉर्म यू कैन एंगेज इन फिलैंथ्रोपी एंड चैरिटी एंड थ्रू दैट यू कैन अटेन हैप्पीनेस Um, there was this king Indradyum uh, from the Lunar dynasty long ago. He was a very virtuous king. Uh, he ruled wisely. Uh, he was very wealthy, uh, very erudite. Um, but more importantly, he was known for his largesse, his benevolence and the philanthropy that he undertook during his lifetime. He gave away gifts. He gave away. He took care of the poor people in his, in his kingdom. gave away millions of cows uh, and engaged in charity as much as he could so at the end of his life uh, he attained swarglok um, he had accumulated a lot of good karma so he naturally uh, he was given the high heavens so um, he indradyum lived in heaven and enjoyed his tenure in heaven um but then uh, one fine day he was told that his uh, he that he had exhausted his his good karma and therefore which also meant that his tenure in heaven was drawing to a close but in the thing was a little surprised he said i've done so much of charity i've accumulated so many good deeds and so much of good karma mm, uh, do i have to leave he asked then indra told him all right we can uh, consider an extension provided you show me even one person who still remembers you in bhulok uh, on planet earth so indradyum comes down in uh, spirit not uh, physically and he decides to see if anybody remembers him however you see the time zones on planet earth on bhuhu and swarga are completely uh, different so several dynasties have gone past several kingdoms have come and gone by and nobody seems to remember indradyum anymore then he decides to approach markandeya uh, because he is one of the chiranjeevis uh, you see there are eight chiranjeevis markandeya balivyaso ashwatthama hanumascha vibhishanascha kripascha parashuramascha ashta chiranjeevina ashta chiranjeevina hai so markandeya is one of the chiranjeevis but unfortunately markandeya also did not remember um, indradyum then uh, he said but don't worry i'll take you to somebody who might know you and your uh, and the, the times when you were there so he takes uh, indradyum to a ulukam or an owl an old owl uh, the owl uh, looks at the king and says sorry i do not recognize you but wait there is a, a pond nearby and there is a crane over there she is even older than i maybe she might recognize you so let's go there so all of them go to the crane the crane looks at indradyum and says no no i cannot cannot remember you i can't recognize you but wait there's one another creature that's older than me and um, that is this old turtle over here in that pond let's ask him the old turtle turns around and he recognizes indradyum he says oh king how can we forget you at least i cannot forget you ever because do you know this pond is called indradyum na pond it's named after you then the king says but pond i don't remember creating any pond or any such thing then he says no no remember the millions and millions of cows that you gave away in charity they used to go by this route and on the way they kicked up so much of dust that it created a huge depression in course of time rain water filled this depression and that's how we have this pond over here and all the aquatic life marine life that thrives here in this pond is because of is thanks to you we are surviving because of you how can we forget you so the moment the turtle says this a golden chariot appears from the heavens and indradyum is carried back into swarglok so this uh, subhashitam the essence central idea of this subhashitam is on philanthropy importance of engaging in philanthropy 
uh, which will eventually give us eternal happiness and fulfillment. But for that, one has to begin with Vidya because Vidya, Dadati Vinayam, from Vidya comes humility. Humility in turn will give you the merit. Merit and worthiness will in, in turn fetch you the wealth with the help of which you must, one must uh, engage in charity and eventually that will bring us happiness. Namo Namah.